Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. According to the latest news released by the British FT, in the current fiercely competitive Chinese artificial intelligence AI chip market, Huawei is going all out to strive to gain a larger share of the Chinese artificial intelligence AI chip market dominated by NVIDIA by helping local companies apply their own AI chips to inference tasks. Currently, China's leading AI companies are highly dependent on NVIDIA's GPU chips when training large models. However, Huawei has chosen not to directly challenge NVIDIA's dominant position in the AI training market. Instead, Huawei has positioned its latest Ascend AI chip as the preferred hardware for Chinese companies when performing inference. Inference refers to the calculations performed when a large AI model generates a response based on user input prompts. Huawei is betting that AI inference will become a larger source of demand in the market in the future, especially as model training slows down and AI applications, such as chatbots, become more popular. Training is important, but the number of trainings is not large, said Giorgio Sakharopoulos, senior AI researcher for inference acceleration at Huawei Zurich Lab. Huawei is mainly focused on inference, which will eventually serve more customers. According to company employees and Ascend AI chip customers, Huawei is focusing on a path that is less technically challenging but has greater potential market profits, transforming models trained on NVIDIA AI chips into models that can run on Huawei Ascend chips. Because NVIDIA GPU chips and Huawei Ascend GPU chips use different software, Huawei is helping the company use another software tool to make the two systems compatible. A person familiar with NVIDIA's business operations in China said that within NVIDIA, Huawei is seen as the strongest competitor in the Chinese market. The person also added that Huawei's chip design capabilities are very advanced. In recent years, the United States has introduced a series of increasingly stringent restrictive policies with the aim of not wanting Chinese companies to narrow the gap with the United States in important cutting-edge scientific and technological fields such as artificial intelligence or even surpass the United States. Therefore, unlike American companies such as OpenAI and Google, Chinese companies cannot obtain the most advanced NVIDIA AI GPU chips. But even so, Chinese companies can still obtain NVIDIA's H20 chips that are specially supplied for the Chinese market to comply with U.S. export control regulations. Despite the relatively weak performance of the H20, demand in the Chinese market remains strong because people believe that the H20 has advantages over similar domestic products. In October 2023, the United States once again tightened export controls, and NVIDIA could no longer sell A800 and H800 chips to China. NVIDIA then launched performance-downgraded chips H20, L20 and L2 for the Chinese market. Among them, H20 is based on the Hopper architecture and is mainly used for training tasks. L20 and L2 are based on the ADA architecture and are suitable for inference tasks. Analysts and Huawei researchers said that due to technical problems, Huawei's Ascend chips cannot currently replace NVIDIA GPU chips for model training. For example, when training larger and larger models, the way chips interact with each other in a larger range of AI chip clusters will fail. Although a single Ascend chip performs well, there is a bottleneck in the connection between chips, said Lin Qingyuan, a semiconductor analyst at Bernstein China. When training a large model, it must be broken down into smaller tasks. If a chip fails, the software needs to find a way for other chips to take over without any delay. Huawei also faces another challenge, which is to convince developers to abandon NVIDIA's CUDA software. NVIDIA's CUDA software is known for being easy for developers to use and can greatly accelerate data processing, and is regarded by the industry as NVIDIA's 
magic weapon. However, Huawei's upcoming upgraded AI chip, SN910C, is expected to solve these problems. A Huawei employee, who asked not to be named said, we expect this generation of new hardware to be packed with improved software that will be more developer-friendly. Estimates from semiconductor consulting firm Semianalysis show that NVIDIA earned $12 billion in sales revenue in the Chinese market last year by delivering 1 million H20 chips to China, and the number of AI chips sold was twice that of Huawei's Ascend 910B chips. NVIDIA's H20 GPU chip, customized for the Chinese market, dominates China's AI chip sales. But as Huawei expands its production capacity, this lead is shrinking rapidly, said Dylan Pitel, chief analyst at Semianalysis. According to a recent analysis article published by analyst Klaus Oshom, H20 sales in the Chinese market are exceptionally good, with a quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth of up to 50%. The downgraded H20 system performed incredibly well, with a quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth rate of 50%, making it NVIDIA's most successful product, while H100 only grew by 25% quarter-on-quarter. According to Klaus Oshon's research results, although NVIDIA's H20 performance lags far behind H100, it has earned more than $10 billion in revenue from China. From the visualization chart provided by Klaus Oshon, we can see that the rate represents H20, and from the third quarter of 2023 to the fourth quarter of 2024, H20 sales revenue has continued to grow the latter quarter, has increased significantly compared to the previous quarter. In mid-2024, an analyst wrote in a research report to clients that although the H20's paper capabilities are lower than Huawei's Ascend 910B chip, in actual use, NVIDIA's H20 chip is clearly ahead, thanks to the H20's superior memory performance. In addition, Market research firm Omdia previously estimated that Microsoft purchased 485,000 NVIDIA Hopper architecture chips in 2024. ByteDance and Tencent each ordered about 230,000 NVIDIA GPU chips, including a special version of the H20 chip, a performance downgraded version of the NVIDIA Hopper chip designed to meet U.S. export control requirements. Meta purchased 224,000 NVIDIA Hopper chips. Tesla slash XAI, Amazon, and Google purchased 200,000, 196,000, and 169,000 NVIDIA Hopper chips, respectively. Industry insiders said Huawei's advancement in the field of AI chips has also been constrained by insufficient supply and at least two potential customers said they failed to get the chips they needed. Analysts point out that Huawei's manufacturing may face challenges due to U.S. export controls, which have led Chinese semiconductor manufacturers to rely on outdated chip manufacturing equipment. The strategy of focusing on inference also highlights the different dynamics of China's AI industry from that of the United States. U.S. export controls mean that Chinese AI companies are not participating in the same game as Silicon Valley rivals such as Meta, XAI and OpenAI, and other American AI companies building large NVIDIA GPU superclusters. Chinese companies are playing a different game. Even with weaker chips, they can get huge efficiency gains in inference, which means they can achieve commercialization faster said Lin Qingyuan, an analyst at Bernstein. He said that Chinese companies are betting on keeping AI competitive by reducing the cost of inference, which also makes it cheaper to run AI applications. In such a special environment, some Chinese AI companies have explored a unique development path. For example, DeepSeek, which recently showed the global AI community, is a typical example. The DeepSeek V3 model, which was launched in a low-key manner before, can be regarded as a first-tier AI model, but it only used 2048 NVIDIA H800 GPU chips, less than two months to complete training, 
and the computing budget was less than 6 million US dollars. In terms of performance, it almost caught up with Claude 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-40, such as programming, mathematics, etc. The price per million tokens can be reduced to less than 0.5 US dollars, which is one-tenth of the price to reach the same level as OpenAI and Entropic. In addition, DeepSeek has recently launched the inference model R1. According to DeepSeek's tests, it is almost comparable to OpenAI's O1 official version of the inference model. External tests show that when the number of NVIDIA Hopper GPU chips may be quite limited, the actual performance of the DeepSeek R1 model is second only to the O1 model, and the cost is only one-thirtieth of OpenAI O1.